This is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a killer hip stabilization exercise. Now, this is kind of modeled after the ab ripper one, which is a push-pull, which is doing a pull-down at the same time as you're doing a dumbbell press. With this one, this is for the lower body. So what we're going to be doing here is a single leg squat, which is going to be working the glutes and the quads. So it's a knee um, extensor and a hip extensor. The other side leg is going to be hooked under a kettlebell handle and you're going to be basically doing a, leg, a knee raise. So you're working the hip flexor here. You're going to try, it, not so easy with just a dumbbell or the kettlebell I should say, but you want to try and activate the hamstring to get some knee flexion as well. Like I said, it's a bit trickier to get the knee flexion, but you'll definitely get the hip flexion. So I've got equal weight dumbbells or kettlebells on here. I've got the 53 pound kettlebell on your side. I've got the flat bench set up inside the rack. You will need something solid to hang on to for this. I'm just using the chin-up bar here. You can use Smith machine. You can basically use anything that's of a suitable height, which basically when you're standing on the bench or a little bit around forehead height. So one in, one foot up on the bench, hook the toes under the kettlebell handle, stand up, and as you do so, do a knee raise. So here's what it looks like. So kettlebell right hand, hold on to the left side, hold on to the same side as your kettlebell on the bottom side is on. That's going to be best for stabilizing here. Now even though while you're doing this exercise it might seem like you're just doing a 53 pound single leg squat, because you've got loading on both the legs, even though you're doing a separate movement with the other leg, you're actually lifting all of that weight with the one leg on the single leg squat. So you're doing a kettlebell with about 50 pounds or whatever on one side, but because you're lifting it up with the other side as well, it's basically double that weight. So you're lifting like 106 pounds. Well, I would be lifting 106 pounds in this particular exercise, which is actually a pretty good weight and actually really works the glutes very, very strongly in addition to working the hip stabilization aspect of this cross tension exercise. Now, because you're working contralateral and antagonistic movements, you can actually get a little bit of extra muscle activation in both of those muscles as you're doing the exercise. So activating the glute on the left side actually gives you stronger activation on the hip flexors on the right hand side and vice versa. So it's a, actually an interesting neuromuscular activation concept here at work as well. And so that is the exercise. Now, as I said, you're not going to get a whole lot of hamstrings, but because the real action is happening at the hips, as long as you're getting a lot of hip flexor action, a lot of hip extensor action, glutes and hip flexors, the, these opposing uh, basically movements is what we're really after, so not a big deal with that. Now, you'll notice when I'm doing these that I was gripping a little bit of front of my body and kind of leaning forward. That forward lean actually accentuates the stretch on the glutes, aka the hip extensor here, and also increases the amount of flexion you're going to get on the hip flexor. So don't be perfectly vertical when doing this when you do want a little bit of forward lean in order to basically get the most out of this exercise. Um, start lighter with this. You're going to be also uh, dependent on hip flexor strength and toe flexor strength because with this particular version, unless you're using ankle weights or some other way to affix the weight to your foot, you will have to hook your toes in that kettlebell handle and use that strength to basically support the weight. So keep that in mind when selecting the weight. But again, it's a fantastic exercise for basically dynamic, resistant hip stabilization training.